Hello everyone, this is Austin from Raw Bliss. Just a reminder, the raw food diet is not the panacea. Okay? There's many other aspects to life. Meditate, get close to God, move that lymphatic system, exercise, get sun. Like there's so many important things. Limit stress in your life. Stress is the biggest thing. Who doesn't have stress in their life? Remember, raw foods is not the panacea. There's so many different aspects. In the morning and prepping some juice for after my exercise. I wanted to show you guys how I make spicy orange juice with this bird's eye chili. You just chop up a little bit and you put it in your strainer. And this way you don't have to run it through the juicer. It's very easy. And then you just juice. You just squeeze these in here. And by the time you're done juicing, you'll have a nice spicy orange juice. Just mix it around a little bit. It's really easy. A little, a little kick in there. This makes me look like I don't have a few fish. Massive. Just got back from the park. It's about 7.30 now. I had like that big coconut and then I had another like smaller coconut about half hour later. I'm gonna try my orange chili juice. Ooh, it definitely has a little kick. Not too not too much, but that's nice. That's very nice. So yeah, try that out if you want some little kick in your orange juice. I think I think it's nice. I also got another round of microgreens growing. These are like three days old. It grows so fast, it's really cool. And apparently when you sprout your seeds, they have like 40% more or something like that, um, protein availability and absorption into your body and um, minerals as well. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. It's like 40, 50%, maybe 60% even. But either way, get those sprouts in. They're very easy to grow and they're amazing nutrient dense food. It's already crack a lack in a little bit. Cut it more on this side. Dang it. Let me get that clean crack. Woo! There we go. Oh, oh man. Yo, these watermelons are freaking on point. Even at the end of the season, still oh, super crisp. Let's see. I can cut out a piece with one hand. Oh yeah, wow, it's a sweet one. Uh, it feels so good like knocking out all my lesson plans in one day. So now I got the rest of the week to chill out. And uh, it's just good to give, get the productive things done first. And ate that watermelon, it was so satisfying. So I'm just gonna chill out for a while. Got my morning hydration in. Uh, probably walk around the park and man, look at that back there. We really need some rain soon. I'm so ready for rainy season. <sighs> I didn't get there in time. Oh man, these are always just in the street. Just getting run over, but I saved most of it. I saved most of it. It's perfectly right. Look at how juicy it is. This fruit actually sweats. Like if you put it in a plastic bag, it will literally sweat out juices. Like it's very juicy. I'll just cut off this part, It'll still be good. I don't know why, but like every time I get a massage, like the day after, I find it really hard to like relax, even like right after the massage. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like releasing some emotional trauma or something, or I don't know. Does anybody else have that? Like you just, you can't sit still. You gotta like run around and do stuff. 
Maybe because I feel like full mobility, like full alignment, like my spine's aligned, like everything just feels really good. So maybe, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I gotta keep moving. It's about 11 o'clock now, decided I'd have some star apples for lunch. And surprisingly, I actually like this green variety better. It seems like they're more juicy rather than like the purple ones, which are more gelatinous. They're like jello, but these ones are so sweet, so juicy. Just, uh, just chilling under the plumeria trees. It's my favorite place to eat. These, these are super ripe. Mm. Wow, these ones are crazy juicy. They just melt in your mouth. These are actually the best ones I've had so far. Like, I, I'll be honest, I didn't have them like more than a handful of times and I gotta give them more chances. Like, it's almost the end of season now. I'm almost ran out of chances, but it has like this funkiness that reminds me of like a Montong durian. It's really interesting. It's like, it has a very complex flavor. Like, I don't know why I haven't realized this till now. Like, maybe I haven't had good ones, but oh, that was these amazing. are really good. I feel like those actually taste more like um, pancakes and maple syrup and even butter compared to the sapodillas. Um, wow, so good. The only downside is you get a bunch of latex on your lips. It's gotta be a way around it. You gotta be really careful how you eat those with the spoon. Um, but wow. The complex flavor. It's like really juicy in the middle and then when you get towards the outside it's a little more dense. So it really reminds you of like pancakes or like French toast or something like really freaking good. Definitely gonna get some more of those before the season runs out. And my god it's a complex flavor. Highly recommend. Oh, he's got to tie the rope around it. Drop them. Drop the load. Oh my god. What a pro, man. Oh, I'm really excited. Finally got some ripe avocados. I, I kind of used this one like a go-gurt and just like squeezed it in my mouth like with the long neck. I love these variety. Make sure there's always a nubby when you buy your avocados. Because otherwise they ferment very fast. But I'm so excited. Probably make a little guac with my butterhead, bok choy, cucumber, cilantro, lime, and uh, garlic chives. Got a couple tomato varieties here. They're both very ripe. Yeah. Also nibbling on a little bit of... Here's the guacamole no. recipe. I put a tiny bit of bird's eye chili. You guys remember that last video where I was freaking out. So hopefully this is a good amount. <laughs> and I got a bunch of garlic chives in there, cilantro, two and a half avocados, and the juice of two limes and the juice of one tomato. That's key. Makes it so good. Wow. <laughs> this turned out so perfect. Oh my God, I'm so grateful. I love these, this part of the butter lettuce, like the heart. Just put, smear a bunch of guac on there. Oh my gosh. And this thick, this thick cut tomato. God, these are the best, you guys. The beef steak. And these bok choy, they make the perfect little dippers. Love them. Of course. Classic. Cucumber. Okay. Got my cold shower in. Oh, I was outside all day today. Felt so good. <laughs> Gosh, that guy with the coconuts. It's really interesting. 
So each of the coconut trees are numbered. So they'll have like 477 or something is the number. And I guess you can like buy the coconuts and then like each person's like responsible for harvesting them. And that's why there's never any coconuts like on the beach just sitting there because they're all like owned by somebody. They don't waste anything. Mm. So anyways, I'm gonna start off with highest excitement, which is of course the beefsteak tomato with the guacamole. These tomatoes are incredible. I didn't think I would get them today. Like I saw the small ones. I'm like, okay, I'll buy them. And then I literally saw these and I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going for these too. And I just didn't even use the small ones. Go for your highest excitement. Go for the most nutrient dense, high quality fruits possible. You're worth it. And uh, yeah, you're worth it. It's incredible. Incredible. But yeah, I like how the bok choy, it's a nice little dipper here on the end. I made a really good guac. Wow. Not too spicy. A little bit of that garlic chive too. Mm. I added another half a lime. It's all about getting the right consistency. I like it a little bit chunky, but not like too chunky, you know? Mm. Next highest excitement, the lettuce heart. I'll probably end the video here. And you know, comment down below, tell me what your favorite thing to dip in guacamole is. I was gonna get some jicama, make like some jicama chips. You know, you can cut them really thin or you can like, you know, cut them really thick. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.